I took away the dis from the disability and made it my ability to make a difference in this world. It feels good to, to do a presentation. It's, it's not just for me. I mean, I'm glad that I inspire other people, but to be honest with you, those people in the audience, those people that are inspired, they inspire me. I think she inspires people. Carrie is able to express herself in such a meaningful way. The, there's a warmth and a, and a love that comes through her towards her audience, and, and people pick up on it just like that. In 1976, um, I was enrolled in an early intervention uh, program for people with special needs. And I was the very first infant in Herkimer County to be enrolled. You could say that I, I was a, a pioneer. When she was born, I never visualized that she'd be living the independent life she is today. In the days when she was born, it was kind of at the pioneering stages when things were changing. They were starting to include children in mainstream classes and inclusion and now self-determination. I was included with other classes like uh, music, art, computer. My favorite class, which is my strength, is English. Well, I graduated in 1997. I was 21 years old when I graduated. Um, and then I did a postgraduate at the Herkimer County uh, BOCES and re received an early childhood education uh, certificate. It's 36 years now and um, each year she shows us a different side of herself that just amazes us. I became a really good writer. I have written short stories, poems um, that of all the things that, that has happened in my life, um, especially the story that I have written, which I am well known as. Um, it's called The Special Tomato Story. Special Tomato Story is uh is a, a story about a garden experience. I was uh, picking tomatoes one late summer evening. Uh, we were getting ready for supper. And uh, all of a sudden, Carrie came out and she said, Dad, I've got some questions for you. And she asked me, why was it so difficult for her to learn? And why do kids tease her at school? So I, I, you know, sort of looked at her twice, and uh, I also sort of looked up into the sky as if, how do I answer a question like that? And so I said, well, Carrie, look at these two tomatoes. He saw a differently shaped tomato, which caught, caught his attention. It was um, um, misshapen, and then they saw, and then he also saw another one that was. Um, the usual. So I said, Carrie, let's, let's take both of these in for supper. You see how they're different? Let's take them in. We'll cut them up and see how they taste. My dad actually took the two t tomatoes and tasted the one that was regular. Tasted great. And then he uh, tasted the special 
misshapen tomato. And I said, actually, it tastes the same. So afterwards, after supper, we, we kind of concluded that they both were delicious, and it doesn't matter what they look like, they're substantially the same. And she asked, she asked me, she said, well, well Dad, what, what is it that makes me so special then? And I said, well, it's your loving spirit and your strong character. Mm -hmm. And so she kind of lit up at the explanation of that and said, oh, I can, I can understand that, she's saying. And then she proceeded to uh, write a story in her English class. And we have a friend who's a, who was her English teacher. And she called me right up and said, this is amazing. And so that's where it all started. And it was just, it just helped Carrie to accept that she is a person with Down syndrome. But, and she has challenges, but she also has many gifts. And it was, it was life changing for her, I do believe. When she was a teenager, the typical kids were becoming involved in sports and other activities, and I could see that she was becoming a little lonely. So I used to take her up to the resource center in Utica, where there were other young people with disabilities, and they taught her how to present for advocacy sessions, and she learned computer skills, and she just became enthralled with giving speeches. Well, I never thought I would be in newspapers and articles and books and everything. I was just going out there and do my speeches just to make a difference in this world for anyone with and also without disabilities. Because I know that some people need an extra little oomph. I just want to give out the message that those of us with any kind of special need uh, needs to be looked at as a human being, not just because we have a special need. Um, because, like I said before, we have the same hopes, dreams, and desires as anyone else does.